And we open the season at the StubHub Center in Carson, California, the home of the Chargers, where the two-time defending AFC West champion Kansas City Chiefs come in to take on the widely picked favorite to take the West this year in the Los Angeles Chargers. First play of the Chargers season is going to be a give to Melvin Gordon, who has a big hole to run through up the middle and picks up 13 as he barrels over Eric Berry. But on third down later in the drive, Rivers throws into heavy coverage and has it knocked down, forcing a Chargers punt, where Patrick Mahomes takes over for the Chiefs' first drive of 2018, and on third and two, he's able to find Sammy Watkins for 15 yards near midfield. Three plays later, it's Mahomes to the free agent pickup, Sammy Watkins again, this time for 17 yards to convert into Los Angeles territory. Next play, it's last year's rushing leader, Kareem Hunt, taking the carry up the middle for 13 yards and another Chiefs' first down. And later in the drive, it's third and goal where Patrick Mahomes is going to move in the pocket and hit Tyreek Hill for his first career touchdown pass for the early 7-0 Chiefs lead. Chargers looking to respond immediately as Phillip Rivers hits Tyrell Williams on the out for 18 yards and a first down. Two plays later, it's Rivers to the immortal Antonio Gates who makes the catch and picks up 15 in the Chiefs territory. Three plays later, it's Rivers to Gates again, this time down the seam for another big pickup of 21 yards to set up first and goal, where three plays later, the Chargers throw from the two and Phillip Rivers finds Keenan Allen in the back of the end zone for the Chargers' first score of the year to tie it at seven. Second quarter now, Chiefs driving again, but Mahomes with a play fake and rookie linebacker Uchenna Nuosu is going to hit Mahomes, forcing the fumble and the Chargers recover to take over in Chiefs territory. Following the fumble, third and nine, and Rivers is going to get outstanding protection as he stands in a clean pocket for about seven seconds before he hits Tyrell Williams coming back to the ball for a 31-yard gain, setting up first and goal at the five, where on the very next play, Rivers connects with Antonio Gates for the 88th time of their careers to put the Chargers up 14-7. Mahomes and the Chiefs trying to respond but more trouble as he throws out to the running back but it's Jatavis Brown with the unbelievable interception and then he gets up and he's going to take it back 35 yards for the pick six and a 21-7 Chargers lead just before half now and again Mahomes looking to respond but this time he rolls to his right and fires on the run for Kareem Hunt but it's too high and right to Casey Hayward for Mahomes' second pick of the quarter as the wheels start to fall off for Kansas City and with 37 seconds left in the half it's Rivers to Keenan Allen for the second time and for Rivers third touchdown of the half as the Chargers go up 28-7. So the Chiefs with a lot of work to do to scrape back into this one. Mahomes hits Sammy Watkins to convert on third down to start the second half. Three plays later it's Mahomes back to Watkins to convert again this time for six yards to the Charger 37. Three plays later it's Mahomes on third down one more time to all pro Travis Kelsey who makes the catch and picks up 20 down to the Chargers 13. Next play it's backup running back Damian Williams with a big hole taking it nine yards down inside the five and then on first and goal it's Mahomes with the fake and a second touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill so the Chiefs come out of half with a nearly eight minute drive to cut the lead to 28-14 but after a series of punts between both teams we move to the fourth quarter where the Chargers are looking to put the game away but the Phillip Rivers pass is going to find Chiefs linebacker Anthony Hitchens who picks it off and is going to bring this one back to the Charger 26. So just like that, Mahomes and the Chiefs can cut it to a one-score game. But on third down, Mahomes with the terrible read and fires it right into trouble. And Desmond King picks it off. So as quickly as the Chiefs appeared back in it is as quickly as their hopes have been denied. And then the Chiefs watch their last glimmer of hope fade as Joey Bosa gets an incredible jump off the line to sack Mahomes late in the fourth and force the turnover. Chargers would add a field goal but not the way the Chiefs wanted to start the year with turnovers abound and an overall anemic offense throughout the game as they fall to the Chargers 31-14. Patrick Mahomes in his first start goes 23 of 44 for just 205 yards but does have two touchdowns but the crucial four interceptions. Defensively for the Chargers Joey Bosa has a field day against the Chiefs offensive line recording three sacks to help the Chargers get the opening day victory and beat the Chiefs for the first time since 2013. Next week, the Chargers head to Buffalo to face the Bills while Kansas City stays on the road as they head to Pittsburgh looking for their first win there since 1986. 
All right, guys, so we take a big L on opening day in a way that I more or less kind of expected. That's how a lot of my games have gone so far, where things will start out okay or start out good, but then the turnovers hit, and I start to get frustrated, and things get out of control fast. I actually had a couple of chances to get back into the game, but I couldn't convert, and that game had a bunch of the issues that I've been mentioning. One of the touchdowns, I think it was the first one to Keenan Allen, happened basically because my corner just froze off the line and didn't even move, and he just ran right past him and then that pick six was one that really frustrated me and threw me off my game from that point on and after that I became super gun shy and to uh, and basically afraid to go down the field until the end when I was just like F it and threw a couple of really bad picks as a result the last two I threw were definitely on me but the pick six I don't know what to do there it's a 77 linebacker with like 45 spectacular catch and he had his back turn but then is still able to turn his hips and get back and make a play on that ball and let alone a one-handed pick and then the second one I don't really have a problem with that I had the guy open but I threw on the run and it went right over his head to the defender so there's not much you can do there but we're always looking to get better and there were no injuries and there isn't any scouting until week three so there really isn't anything for me to go over so with that we're going to jump right into the week one action which kicked off with the Eagles taking down the Falcons 31-28 in a rematch of last year's divisional round moving to Sunday the Bills take down the Ravens on the road the Jaguars hand the Giants a 21 point loss Saints eat a big dub against the Buccaneers Patriots ruin Deshaun Watson's return taking down the Texans 34-10 Vikings squeak out an overtime win over the 49ers Dolphins and Colts both win their home openers Steelers hand the Browns a 34-7 beat down to extend their losing streak to 18 games Chargers hand us a big L Broncos and Panthers both get one score wins over the Seahawks and Cowboys Redskins beat the Cardinals in an old NFC East matchup. Packers beat the Bears in a low scoring affair on Sunday night while Monday night saw the Jets beating the Lions in overtime while the Rams took down the Raiders to cap off the week. As we take an early look at the AFC standings, we see that the entire AFC East came away victors in week one, while in the north, our next opponent in the Steelers jump out to the early division lead as the only team to pick up a win in the opener. In the south, the Colts and the Jags come away winners, while in the west, the Chargers and Broncos sit at the top over the Raiders and us. Moving to the NFC, the Redskins and Eagles are tied for the early lead in the East, while the Packers and Vikings are in the same position in the North. Moving to the South, the Saints and Panthers were both winners, while the Falcons and Bucks came up short. And then out West, the Rams were the only team to come away with a win and sit alone atop the division. In his first game as a pro, third overall pick Sam Darnold was outstanding and takes home the AFC Offensive Player of the Week award as he completes 32 of his 48 passes for 362 yards and four touchdowns and no interceptions. Darnold's fantastic debut helped lead the Jets to their opening night overtime victory on Monday night in Detroit. The NFC Offensive Player of the Week was also a debut of sorts as Carson Wentz returned from injury to have a similarly spectacular opener. Wentz was 32 of 43 for 341 yards and also threw for four touchdowns to kick off the 2018 season on Thursday night and take down the visiting Atlanta Falcons and take home his third Offensive Player of the Week award. To the defensive side, you saw him pick off Patrick Mahomes and return it for a touchdown, but that wasn't all he did as Jatavis Brown racked up 11 tackles and two pass breakups in addition to his pick six to help the Chargers defense maul the Chiefs 31-14. As for the NFC, the winner again comes from a primetime game as John Johnson III takes home the award for his three-tackle, two-interception performance on Monday night. Johnson also added a pair of pass breakups to help the Rams double up the Raiders in Oakland by the the score of 34-17. As we move to the league leaders, the passing yards leaderboard starts with both of the offensive players of the week in Sam Darnold and Carson Wentz, while Alex Smith was the only other quarterback to top the 300-yard mark. However, Cam Newton and Blake Bortles came up short by a combined six yards and sit at fourth and fifth. The pass touchdown leaderboards look the same at the top as Sam Darnold and Carson Wentz lead the way with both Tom Brady and Ben Roethlisberger joining them with four touchdowns apiece in the season opener. Alex Smith cracks the top five 
five, among others, including Phillip Rivers tied with three passing touchdowns. Ezekiel Elliott led the way rushing with 135 yards in Carolina to sit atop the rushing leaders. David Johnson, Le'Veon Bell, and Todd Gurley also crossed the 100-yard mark and sit at second, third, and fourth, while Leonard Fournette tallied 96 yards and rounds out the top five. When it comes to rushing touchdowns, Christian McCaffrey, Devontae Freeman, and Adrian Peterson all scored twice on the ground in week one, while Doug Martin and Saquon Barkley were among many, many players with one rushing touchdown. To the pass catchers, Quincy Inunua was the biggest beneficiary of Sam Darnold's huge game as he notches 180 yards receiving in the victory. Austin Severian Jenkins is the only tight end in the top five and one of 400-yard pass catchers in week one, along with Marvin Jones and Brandon Cooks. T.Y. Hilton falls one yard shy of the 100-yard mark to round out the top five. Multiple receivers had two touchdown catches in the opening week, starting with Jamison Crowder, while the AFC West sees three receivers on the leaderboard with Broncos Cortland Sutton, the Chargers Keenan Allen, and our very own Tyreek Hill. Keelan Cole of the Jaguars also was the recipient of two touchdown passes in the opening week. To the defensive side, Joey Bosa wreaked havoc against us in the opener and leads the way in sacks with three. The rest of the list includes former Ram and now Dolphin Robert Quinn, Jaguar stud Calais Campbell, and a pair of NFC North players in the Packers Kenny Clark and the Bears Khalil Mack. And then the interception leader sees another charger leading the way as Desmond King notched two picks, as did Rams safety and NFC defensive player of the week John Johnson. Among the many players with one interception to make the list were Steelers Joe Hayden, who we'll be seeing in our next video, the 49ers Richard Sherman and the Falcons Robert Alford. As we look to next week's schedule, things kick off on Thursday night with the Ravens heading to Cincinnati as both teams look to avoid the dreaded 0-2 start. Panthers travel to Atlanta, Colts head to Washington, Texans and the Titans in a big early season AFC South matchup. Eagles go to Tampa Bay, we face Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers, Dolphins at Jets, Chargers at Bills, Vikings head to Lambeau to face the Packers, Browns still looking for a win and head to New Orleans, Lions at 49ers, Cardinals at Rams and a rematch of the AFC Championship with the Patriots headed to Jacksonville, and then a couple of big division games as the Raiders head to Denver, capping off the early games, while the Giants head to Dallas on Sunday night, and then wrapping up the week is the Seahawks traveling to Chicago to face the Bears. Alright guys, so we are officially underway with the Madden 19 franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed the highlights and the new look with the mock-ups. Once we get into week three, we'll have a little bit more to talk about after the game with injuries and scouting and things like that. But let me know what you guys think. Join me next video as we take on Le'Veon Bell, Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, and the Steelers and look for our first win of the year. But until then, thanks for watching.